Darcy has gotten engaged to her new man, Georgie. Guys, what is up? Max here, the Celeb Talk Guy. In today's video, we have a surprising amount of stuff to talk about, so let's not waste any bit of time and jump right into this one. Starting off with, yeah, you heard that right, Darcy finally, after trying her luck with several different men, Jesse, Tom, and honestly, there were other, a lot of other men that we, you know, never got to meet on 90 Day Fiance, but Darcy has been dating a lot of guys, and then she ended up meeting this new Georgie guy from Washington, D.C., supposedly that they hit it off really well, and Georgie in June proposed to Darcy. For those of you guys that don't know, she has been dating this Georgie guy for only a few months. It definitely has not been a year. I want to say she met him in like January. Then like I said, in June, they got engaged. And the funniest thing is, is at the time of filming Darcy and Stacy's show, Georgie was still legally married, which no, it wasn't like a serious marriage. It was just like he got married. He's in the process of getting divorced, but still, I mean, he was still legally married and now he goes off. He met Darcy in, I want to say January or February. They hung out like once or twice. Then they ended up meeting up one or two other times, you know, before the quarantine. Then they ended up quarantining together. And next thing you know, Georgie proposed. Now, I don't know why, but People Magazine exclusively came out with this story about 20 minutes ago. So we must give People Magazine credit. I don't know why or how they got this story. I'm sure TLC and 90 Day Fiance, you know, wrapped this whole thing together just to get some publicity for Darcy and Stacey's show because, come to find out, this upcoming Sunday, the season finale of Darcy and Stacey is on. So I am more than positive we're going to see Georgie propose during that episode. And in this People Magazine article that came out with this story a few minutes ago, which let me just say, I'm going to link above or below this video if you want to check it out for yourself. But in this article, of course, Darcy had an interview and she was babbling about how she loves him and how they're a perfect match and all that crap, which I'm just going to ignore because I'm sure it's not true. But anyway, she was babbling and then she went on to say that she is planning on having a, you know, a destination wedding and they're going to get married somewhere beautiful like Italy or somewhere overseas and she went on and on and on like she was Kim Kardashian. I don't know why Darcy talks like she is some huge celebrity in this and that. And if you guys are wondering when is the wedding, all that crap, I have no idea. We're going to have to wait and see. And if you're also wondering if you guys do watch Darcy and Stacey, their show, on the last episode, Georgie did say that he's, he's holding back a big secret from Darcy. And it's not the proposals, not the engagement. He had another secret. And, you know, he was going to tell Darcy. He just didn't know when. And it has nothing to do with the fact that he was already married because he already told her that. So, you know, what is this secret? I don't know. I think it is that he has a baby. I'm like 99% confident that he already has a kid. And I think that is his stupid little secret. But on Sunday night, we are going to find out what the secret is. But the thing is, you guys, if this is a big secret, you know, obviously we know they got engaged. They are happy. They're still together. So the secret, it probably isn't even that big. But anyway, Darcy and Georgie, like I said, they are engaged. So comment below your thoughts. And I'm really curious if you guys think, number one, are they even going to make it to the wedding? And number two, are they going to make it in their marriage? My honest thoughts really quick before I go on to the next topic is I feel like, yes, they're going to get married and they might possibly actually stay married. Darcy is, you know, in La La Land and Georgie, he kind of just seems to like the fame. He likes being on the show. I think he kind of actually somewhat maybe likes Darcy. So, uh, you know, it's really weird. It's hilarious. I can't figure out what Georgie's deal, if he's just using her for the show. I don't know. I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm kind of liking Georgie. Not sure why, but I kind of like him. Maybe he's using her, maybe not. But for some just reason in my gut, I have a hunch that they're going to stay together. But comment below what you guys think. And while we are on the topic of 90 Day Fiance, y'all, I have some very good good tea. That is why I am sipping on my tea because you guys, we have some very good tea. Oh my God, Devin from 90 Day Fiance, we have recently heard a very unbelievable story that a reliable source from 90 Day Fiance on the production team said that it was absolute just horrible 
filming with Devin and her daughter Drusilla and it was an insider source that went and talked to Soap Dirt. So like always, Soap Dirt, we love them dearly, show them some love. If I can find the article, I'll link it above or below this video. But here's kind of the deal, honestly, a week or two ago, you know, uh, Devin has been coming out on several different platforms. She did an interview with John Yates, a very long interview. She's kind of been coming out on her social media. We all know in present day, Okay, her and Ji Hyun, they're done. And then she met a new man named Topher and she's public with him. And from the sounds of it, it just, it really sounds like it appears that Devin's 90 Day Fiance time has come to an end. She's been going on these interviews, she's been posting on her social media, and she hasn't been trashing 90 Day Fiance, but she's really been kind of like trashing them without trashing them. You know what I mean? Like she'll indirectly make these comments that they, not that they script it, but that they'll edit it and they'll cut that and they'll do this and that and they'll make you seem different and you know hey I don't know if that's true I could see why Devin would want to say that because they did portray Devin and Devin's daughter Drusilla to really not be very nice and kind of rude and so I can see why she's trying to save face I get it I don't know if that is true or not but anyway she's been coming out and trying to kind of save face and say basically that the show is basically scripted and that's just a reality show and that a lot of the stuff that we got to see. It was just cut and clipped in a certain way to make it seem worse than it really was. So after Devin came out and made those comments, believe it or not, an insider source, like I said, went to Soap Dirt and they shared their side to the story. They said that Devin and especially Drusilla, honestly, mainly Drusilla in this insider source said that they were extremely hard to handle, that filming them with them was just, you know, excessive hours, it was never ending because they could never film their scenes, and that they also said at the end of the day they were, you know, upset with Drusilla because she was always so running around and just obnoxious, but they said that they were really upset with Devin because she is their mother. Oh my god, y'all, we have a like a 90 day fiance brawl. Everyone's going back and forth. This is unbelievable. I love this. And you know, who is this insider source that, that talked to Soap Dirt? We don't know. So could it be true? Could it not be true? Of course, anything is possible. And honestly, as just a, a bystander that just, that just watches and loves the show, I'm kind of standing maybe just a hair closer to 90 Day Fiance, maybe. Now, I can understand and relate that when you film these TV show things, they go on and on and on. So the filming days are probably very long. Devin's daughter is young. She's a little kid. I don't want to judge a single mom. I get it. But still, she does seem a little bit, you know, rambunctious. She's always kind of here and there and running around and doing this and that. She's got some serious energy and she could probably be toned down a hair, but hey, I'm not a father. I can't judge anyone's parenting styles, but I could see, you know, that the 90 Day Fiance insider source is probably semi close to accurate. So I don't want to say yes or no, but I'm kind of leaning towards the other way. So let me know what you guys think though. Whose side are you taking? Devin's? Do you think that 90 Day Fiance cuts and clips all these videos and, and they make it kind of scripted? Or do you think that, you know, Devin and her daughter Drusilla just aren't the best behaved people? Definitely make sure to comment below. And also, while we are talking about 90 Day Fiance, two of the former 90 Day Fiance alumni have gotten their own TV shows on like the Facebook Watch Place, I guess. I don't know if it's actually called Facebook Watch Place. I think it's called Facebook Watch. Facebook Watch, I don't know if you guys use it or not. I actually kind of do. It's kind of like YouTube. You can just scroll through and watch videos. It's kind of nice. And there are a handful of TV shows that are partnered with Facebook, and guess what? David and Annie. They are an OG original 90 Day Fiance couple. They were from years and years and years ago. They have honestly kind of grown on me, and they are debatably maybe one of my favorite couples ever to be on 90 Day Fiance. They're still together. They're sweet. They're cute. They kind of had their issues. They actually had, they had a lot of issues when they were on the show, but you know, now they're kind of doing well. They seem to still be in love, they're cute, they're funny, and they're getting their own cooking show. And it's going to be on the Facebook Watch sometime at the end of October. I want to say October 28th, but y'all better not quote me on that date. But anyway, they're going to be on there, they're gonna have a cooking show, 
and it should be pretty good, and I'm definitely going to watch it. And like I said, it was not just one castmate, there is another that's getting her own show too, and believe it or not, I don't know why they gave her a show, but it is Chantel's mom is getting her own show on this Facebook watch thing or whatever, and so I do not know who, when, where, or why, I don't understand who makes these decisions. Now, y'all already know I would love uh, my own show, and I could pick, I could hand pick like 10 people that I know, including myself, but even other people, just like random people that are kind of involved in the 90 Day Fiance world and people that have been on the show and whatnot that are so much more entertaining and funny and interesting than Chantel's mom. I mean, I can't even think of, honestly, one person that would want to see Chantel's mom have her own talk show. And so if you're wondering, well, what is the show? She's not cooking. She's not doing what David and Annie are doing. She's literally like reading a dating or life stuff like we got to see a little bit of a preview for it and it looked like she read a letter that a fan sent in and it was about love life and whatnot and then she was kind of responding to it so i don't know if she's like a love expert or i don't know if it's just like a life thing i don't know i don't know why i keep using these air quotes either but i don't know why on earth i mean i can't think of one person not even like one. And I read my comments and I did a video yesterday about the Chantel, the family Chantel, and I'm telling you guys, I got so much hate about that video because everyone hates that show. Not many people like the family Chantel, so you know, to give not only them, but to also give the mom her own show, it just seems so weird. So my point is, who in God's name is picking and choosing these shows? I mean, it's like, wouldn't they get someone better? Okay, and then before I sign off for the day, last night the Bachelorette was on, and I'm going to, don't worry, I'm not gonna talk about the show. I just wanna talk about what happened that made me mad last night, so don't worry, I'm not gonna do a recap. And also, last Friday, Love After Lockup was on, and unfortunately, I was out and about and kind of busy, so I missed the episode, but last night, I rewatched it. So, I was going to recap it in this video, but I feel like not everyone watches that show, so I am just going to do a separate video either later today or maybe tomorrow on Love After Lockup, but with The Bachelorette, you know, I don't know, do a lot of you guys watch this? Like, if you are watching this video on Facebook or YouTube, please, please, please comment below and let me know if you watch The Bachelorette, because I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm hooked on the show. It's like one of my more favorite shows, not top one, two, or three, but I do kind of like it. I don't know why. It's like the hopeless romantic in me, kind of. I don't know. But last night, it was a season premiere, and it sucked. It really was not very good. Now, I, you know, I honestly, you guys, you already know, I usually come on here, and I speak my mind, I speak the truth, and I'm usually pretty excited about good TV shows, but The Bachelorette last night, it just wasn't very good. So, my question for you guys is, do you watch it? Comment below, yes or no. And if you did watch it, um, what did you guys think? Think, but I just feel like there was so much it was like not I don't even know like it was kind of like it was scripted last night and I could be right or wrong maybe it was maybe it wasn't but we all know that you know what happens is the bachelorette um, Claire she picks a man before the end of this process she ends up meeting a man and I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want to spoil it for any of you guys but it's like common knowledge at this point that she ends up you know one of the guys there she really really likes him and so she ends up just picking him at the beginning of the season then she just ends the whole thing and then a new bachelorette has to come in which it's fine whatever but it was so weird because the entire first episode she kept making little hinty comments and and this and that and the show was kind of hinting towards the guy that she picks and it just kind of seemed scripted so comment below let me know what you guys think and also if you hear background noise I am so sorry my neighbors once again yet again are doing construction so if you're the background noise I sincerely apologize but anyway let me know if you guys watch the bachelor rap but that was pretty much it I thought it sucked I thought it was boring I mean it was okay I guess 
I was just hoping to see a little more. But like the large majority of the episode was just Claire talking about the quarantine and this and that and staying by herself. And there wasn't really much nitty gritty, you know, stuff of actually The Bachelorette. We got to see a little bit of drama with these two guys. It looked so stupid and scripted. You know, like the, my problem with The Bachelor and Bachelorette is these people know that if they go on this show, they become instant celebrities. So they all are trying to kind of start drama and do this and that just to kind of get some fame. And that to me is so unbelievably annoying because there was this one guy who was a complete nobody. I don't even know his name. He didn't even make it past the first round, but he was a complete nobody. He saw a little window of opportunity to start some drama. He started it. It was a waste of time. Claire kind of bought into it, but thank God she sent him home. So we got to see that, a little bit of drama. But the whole time, you know, The Bachelorette and Chris Harrison, they both kind of just kept hinting and the camera crew kept moving the camera and zooming in on this guy that she ends up falling in love with, supposedly, and running off with. So I'm not going to name his name just to kind of keep it a, a spoiler-free zone. I don't want to spoil it for anyone just yet, but there was a a special person you know there that supposedly she ends up falling in love with and honestly I feel like it's common knowledge at this point I feel like everyone kind of knows but I think it's just stupid I feel like personally my take is that The Bachelor and Bachelorette the show has been going on for years and they wanted to start some very good drama and my take is that they, they just made a scripted they, they scripted the season they got her to come on they knew that she would like this guy but personally I feel like they just scripted the whole whole thing just to get her on the show have her fall in love and then so then the season can be kind of different and they can change it up and whatnot so that is just my take I feel like this part this beginning part is just kind of fake doesn't seem real so for everyone that did watch the bachelorette please 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 let me know because y'all already know i don't just watch 90 day fiance i watch other tv shows mainly reality and i would absolutely love to talk about the bachelorette if you guys would watch the videos and enjoy them so if you do watch the show if you want to hear more videos on that show just let me know in the comments below type out what not and let me know and i will definitely start doing videos and like I said, for all my Love After Lockup fans, I'll probably do a video maybe later today on Love After Lockup. Just depends on how busy I am, but if you want to hear that, you want to see that also, please put in the comments below. And before I sign off for this quick video, um, I do want to let you guys know, if y'all don't already know, I am seriously like addicted to coffee. It is kind of my thing. I, I know I never tell you guys that, but I just love coffee. I'm known for coffee. I am always standing around with a cup of coffee in my hands. And a lot of you guys have been asking for more live chat videos. I've only done a couple, but I'd be open to doing more. And so, you know, maybe I was thinking we could do a fun once a week kind of a thing uh, where we could do a live video we could all chat and maybe some of you guys could come on the channel if you guys wanted to and we could all just have a good time hang out talk about reality tv and life and just fun positive hilarious stuff and we could joke around so i was going to name it coffee chats with max i'm just waiting on what day this should go so i don't know if it's going to be a separate channel or if it's going to be like a podcast i don't really know how i'm going to do it yet I still need to kind of i don't know i got a lot of different ideas in my head and if you can't tell i am not the smartest so I always need to, I don't know, write everything out, but I wanted to throw it your guys away and just see if anyone would be interested in any, anything like that. You know, a longer, a live stream video, maybe a podcast where you guys could come on and call in and we could all talk and hang out and have a good time. Just a thought, I wanted to push it your guys' way and see what you think. I have no idea what day or time this would be. I'm not really sure. Maybe a time that we're all kind of free, maybe like Saturday or Sunday, something like that. Well, anyway, you guys, I hope to God you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of drama, a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, Love After Lockup, the video is likely coming towards the end of the day, so stay tuned for that. And if you did enjoy this video, it would mean the world to me if you tap that like button, comment below your thoughts, hit the subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.